One of the things that um, is part of the journey that Sue and I have been on is going from uh, a healthy lifestyle through peritoneal dialysis and into home hemodialysis. And in between that, we sandwiched a live donor. And I was the live donor for her. Other people may wonder what a live donor um, responsibility and, and journey looks like. Well, here's a bit of my story. When Sue's peritoneal dialysis began to be less effective for her, we started the process of examining uh, the possibility of a kidney for her. And of course, the unit, the transplant unit, uh, did their thing in terms of screening. And I put my hand up uh, just out of uh, curiosity more than anything else and said, I will be a live donor. And so they said, sure, why not? And there was a battery of tests that we had to go through. Um, and for every test, I proved that I was capable of being a donor. Um, so I really relied on the team to say to me, you're healthy enough to be a live donor, uh, which was a comfort. Um, you are able to be a live donor because there's a match. And that was like uh, winning a lottery as far as my lifestyle and Sue were concerned. Um, and the only concern I had was, well, what about the operative day? What, what's that going to feel like? <clears throat> and I'd never really been in the hospital before. I've been terribly healthy all my life. And um, when I got to Dr. Patrick Luke, um, he said, he looked me in the eye and said, are you sure you want to do this? And I said, absolutely, absolutely. Then he pulled out some forms and we signed them off.